12 poker players, a room full of egos, everyone out to prove who is the best in poker. What a fantastic start we've had to this Premier League. Please don't single me out for your rules. Here, you give your speech. I know all the rules. I just call it like it is. Now you're mad at me? Phil, you, I don't think you've got a license to tell anybody about Moni or poker. See you guys. Tony, why do you want us to send you zero? Phil Helmuth, top of the league right now. I'm trying to be the best poker player of all time. I'd like to have this Premier League title. But the other half of the field into play. This is how the tournament works. Every regular season match awards 20 points and $20,000. It's eight points for first place, all the way down to one point for fifth. If two players are level on points at the end of the league, the player with the most wins will be ahead. Everyone's got their eye on that final table. The 12 game regular season will bring the top four in the league standing straight there. The final two seats will be the winners of the playoff matches. Heads up between fifth and eighth and sixth and seventh, while the bottom four in the league standings straight to relegation. I'm Jesse May and this is the PartyPoker.com Premier League Poker. With me today, Phil Helmuth, who stormed to the front uh, in the last heat and is top of the table. Phil, you got to be really pleased about that. Absolutely. It's always great to win and to start out in front with eight points. I mean, first or second's key, man. Eight, six, and three points for third. So you have to get to first or second. First is just icing on the cake, baby. Now, having started this tournament out and dipping your feet into the format, uh, do you think this is going to be an accurate reflection of who the best in poker is? Well, to tell you the truth, Jesse, there's a lot of skill in each individual event, but the fact that you get to play six of them makes a difference. So I think, I think you're going to see some of the better players emerge by the end of this thing. You know, starting out winner was great, and now I get to watch. I go from, you know, from playing and winning to commentating, and I'm going to think it's going to be really interesting to see everybody's whole cards and the way they're going to play, especially because I have to play them all again. Exactly. So let's have a look at who's going to be sitting around the table tonight. Of all the people in this tournament who's had the most success in the past two years, I mean, that's me by, by a long way. You're going to see me in the final six, so watch out. I know I'm entering the valley of the giant egos, but I'm not scared. I'm just here to gamble. I'm the only one from Germany, obviously, so I want to win this very much. I've had enough of second places. I'm here to win. I reckon I've got the perfect game for this format and uh, I'm willing to take it to any of the players. When you step up to the door of destiny you have to be able to open it and certainly I'm on that uh, footstep. A roll, a tide, a roll, let's get this heat underway. Six players sitting down for this exciting heat. Phil, what do you make of this heat? Well, first of all, you uh, helped me uh, finish second to me for my tenth bracelet. And he played a great game, and uh, he's, known, <laughs> he's known worldwide by now. Looking at the chips there, players beginning with 100,000 each in chips. The yellow's worth one, the blue's two, the red's 5,000 apiece. And, of course, it's not all about winning. Points given out for every place you finish. Cards out of the chute for the first hand. Now, Phil, in your first heat, the Devilfish tried to take charge early to his demise. Do you think anyone's going to do that here? Kenna James could try to take charge. You know, and look, he has a 10-5, and what's he doing? Sure enough, he's trying to take charge. Right. Just, I, I guess it was a lucky call there, but yeah, he's going to try to take charge. I don't like that strategy. Ian Fraser's probably going to fold this hand, and it's it's not a bad fold. I mean, Kenna raised under the gun. If he could see Kenna's hands, he'd re-raise him. <laughs> wow, maybe he can, Phil. Wow. That's pretty aggressive by the Fraser, isn't it? I mean, it's like it's like he saw the hand. But I mean, I, I mean, it was just, you got to give him credit. He's made a good play here. I fold two like my robot friend. I would be folding ace four clubs for the original bet. Never mind re-raising, but you just give him credit. He's, he's red. Ken is having nothing, and he's raised. It's nine thousand back on KJ. Is there any way he can justify peeling off the flop here? He could. I mean, if he Somebody puts. Like this all day, is it? I don't know. If I pick up good cards, it will be. 
I think Kenneth's probably going to fold. He wants to take charge, but <clears throat> let's see if he picks up something on Ian. Now, if Kenna is playing like a super genius, he could just move all in here, and there's a high probability Ian would fold. Nope. Well, fireworks the first yeah. hand. And, Phil, they talk about sending the message early. Has Thank Kenna been warned? <laughs> well, I mean, I think Kenna, Kenna might have to so rethink his let me take charge strategy. Cool. Because Fraser, Fraser popped him on the first hand back. Ian Fraser has made a massive impact on TV poker in the past few years. He's won the UK and European Open titles and become one of the most feared players at the six-seater format. Windsor Castle, and they were changing the guards, and was the Italian guy was filming. Yeah. Standing right in the way. Yeah. And they just ran over him. Just attention. Corn on the button here. The guards are coming. They did. <laughs> yeah, they just ran over Fraser the just Razor. Right yeah, over just for a second. Yeah. Camera was... On horses. On no, horses? No, no. No, just in foot. Oh, they just oh, yeah. pass? You know, the beef eater. But he, he broke their stride, I bet. <laughs> cool. Step on somebody's head, it kind of changes very, your gait. A very interesting hand here kinda. because Fraser decided to call with 9 7 Six. suited. 6,000 total. Which means Roland didn't raise with the ace 8. Oh, wow. Now Vicky picks up 9. She raises. And now let's see what Eddie does here. I think he's probably going to re raise it. It's the most simple way to play the hand. And he's hoping that maybe Vicky has jacks or tens and. We raised to 19,000. Oh my. Is Kenna James gonna. Can he take this hint, raise and re raise, Phil? Wow. Well, you know, you had a limp in, you had another limp in, you had a raise and a re raise oh. by Eddie Scharf. Now, this is. You can't get away from Ace King too often in these things, but this would be a spot where Kenna could actually get away from it. But let's give Pass. him some credit. I mean, laying down Ace King is, is you know, bordering a world class play there. Pass. Great stuff, and it's cleared the field around. Now, what about Vicky? Vicky might decide that to, might drink that might decide to call. It. It's not that much more for her to call, right? It's only thirteen thousand, Phil. So I wouldn't blame I wouldn't blame Vicky if she took a flop here. Um, if she hits a nine, perhaps she could bust him. Exactly. And she has, you know, she has. Uh, okay. Good lay down. Give her, give her credit. That was a very good lay down. Now they're playing the game. There was an ace king and two nines folded before the flop this hand. Wow. <laughs> water says Kenna. I need water after Bring folding the ace Kenna. king before Boys. the flop. This game of the Premier League season underway. Remember, in this Premier League format, each of the 12 players will play six games trying to accrue points in the league standings that'll keep them in that promotion <laughs> zone to the what final table. That? That's what he said to Jesse. When you've won bracelets, trophies, and <laughs> millions of dollars, think of the shame so you like if you're in the ago. bottom four of these point standings, <laughs> the relegation zone. Uh, and uh, Fraser, really out of the box here. Is he going to get a re-raise from DeWolf? Oh my! This is setting up very well for Vicky. Wow. How much is it? Thirty-two. And this is going to put Roland in a lot of trouble. Wow. So Fraser made a move at this pot. Roland detected the move with the ace jack of spades. He made a nice re-raise. That is the least clever thing. And now Vicky has picked up two aces. What a great position yes, for her to she, be in. She's moved all in. Uh, here, Phil. Yeah, and she goes all in. I mean, very. I mean, very lucky hand for her that. And you know, her that Ian was out messing around with eight four, and that Roland made a good read on the eight four was very lucky for her. Is, is, is Sometimes someone makes a great read, and it benefits you when you're sitting with a bigger hand behind. Is Vicky thinking that Roland might have a big enough hand that she can wow. get action from him? I don't know what she's thinking, but she, you know, she decided to just stack off, and that's one way to play the hand. That is the most conservative way to play that. Um, <laughs> and Roland's going to fold quickly, too, because he knows that he's probably against ace-king. Um, how yeah, many how chips many? does he have left is, is the question. They have $32,000 each in this pot, and... Um,